Now to Premont, some major upgrades are on the way for the collegiate high school there. Yeah, that's right. Last night, school board members voted to proceed with a multi-million dollar project. And as Mike Alaska shows us, it'll help bring to their 50 year old facility into the modern era. Mike. Never settle. That's the mantra that Premont ISD Superintendent Steve Van Matry carries with him to work each day. And got to tell you, it seems to fit in a district whose very mission statement says that they're working to create a culture that promotes risk taking. In recent years, great strides have been made in moving the Premont ISD forward. Many would call their progress remarkable, considering that the school district was once on the verge of being shut down while struggling to get by in facilities built a half century ago. I can remember standing in Premont Collegiate High School in February of my first year there. There was no hot water. There was no heat. That was less than four years ago. Fast forward to the $6.8 million high school construction project announced this week. The money comes from a bond of just over $4 million approved by voters back in May. That, coupled with what Superintendent Steve Van Matry says have been conservative spending practices and ever-growing enrollment numbers, and the money available to be used by the district has nearly doubled. The bulk will go to what he calls a wonderful Christmas present from the citizens of Premont to the students of Premont. All new classrooms, restrooms, a band hall, a library, and a cafeteria will be added to gym upgrades, administration offices, and for the first time, a secure lobby area limiting building access. I don't believe that a zip code should determine equity and access and whether you have good facilities or not. We all know that if you live in Corpus Christi ISD, you're going to attend great schools and have great facilities. You know, I've worked for CCISD for 17 years, but I also believe that students who live in rural communities, such as Premont and Ben Bold and Benavides, uh, should have the same opportunities that children in Gregory Portland Flower Bluff and Corpus Christi have. Work has already begun and will continue with much of it being done at night. They expect to have the first floor ready by spring break and the entire project completed by the summer. And tomorrow night, Premont Collegiate High School is hosting what they're calling a farewell tour. Premont alumni are invited to come by the high school to walk the halls and reminisce about days gone by while Looking ahead to those days to come, now, the doors will be open from 4 to 8 tomorrow night, and the community, of course, is invited to attend. Leslie? Very nice, Mike. Thank you.